We go to first half action of this key NJAC Freedom Division class at Chop Morris and Field in Hackettstown, and Hackettstown almost sneaks in a goal here in this scrum, but Newton goalie Tess Lockburn makes a couple of pad saves to keep it scoreless. Newton gets a scoring chance here to watch Melanie Rudio send in a shot, but Hackettstown goalie Tanya Volker, who was brilliant all game, makes the save for the Tigers. And watch Volker here as she makes another terrific kick save to Rob Ashley Mosner of Newton as we remain scoreless. Okay, after not getting much offense going in the first half, the Tigers get a corner penalty. Watch Conley Healy beautifully redirect Liz to lose blast in the top of the circle to give the Tigers a 1-0 lead late in the half. And just a minute or so later, watch Make Tulu knock home another goal for the Tigers, but the goal is disallowed because of the Hackettstown player laying on the ground in front of the goal, and it's 1-0 Hackettstown at the half. Wow. But okay, second half we go, and Hackettstown comes out on fire, and Taylor Thorpe makes this nice run before Tess Lockwood makes the save for the Braves. And watch Lockwood come through with another huge save here, but this wild stop as she stops this blast for that deflects off a stick in the circle as the ball goes over the cage. Wow, what a play. All right, Newton gets a corner penalty here, and Tanya Volker makes another kick save off of Paige Mosner's blast to protect the Tigers' 1-0 lead. And Volker makes her 10th save of the game here as she stones Emily Bird of Newton on the corner penalty as time ticks away on the Braves. And Volker caps the big win here for Hackettstown with another brilliant stop off a Chelsea Grotenhan rocket as the Tigers hand the Braves their first loss of the season for a key 1-0 NJAC Freedom Division win at Chop Morrison Field. It was a great win. Um, I think they were mentally prepared coming into this game. Um, defensively, they had the game of their life. Late in the first half, Hackettstown needed a break, and they got one. They scored a goal off a penalty corner when Colleen Healy sent in a perfect redirected shot. It was great. They practice corners all the time. Um, we have to capitalize on corners. are few and far between, and when you get them, you have to make sure that uh, you can capitalize on it. And It was a shot she's practiced many times, and she came through for us. This is a big win for Hackett's and helps them get ready for the county tournament and also seeding for the state tournament. I think it gives them a little bit more confidence in themselves to, uh, to know that even though they're, they're young, they're injured, um, that they can achieve what they want to achieve as long as they put their mind to it. This is a tough loss for the Newton Braves, but Coach Lisa Bechtel told her squad it's not the end of the world and they have bigger fish to fry with the county and states coming up. It's unrealistic for any team, I think, to win championships or go undefeated. And, uh, you know, I told them it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of our season. There's a lot of the season left, and we're going to approach it like we've been approaching the season, taking it one game at a time. And, um, you know, we're, um, we're just moving forward. We have a game tomorrow. We're going to focus on that. We're going to focus on the county tournament and focus on states. So, uh, you know, we're, we're disappointed uh, with – our play and not putting the ball in today and some mistakes we made, but um, really looking forward to moving ahead.